Hi everyone, it's Dave from the Alpaca Benro Polaris project. Today I will show you how to install and set up the Alpaca driver on Windows 11. You can download the driver from the GitHub repository at github.com slash ogecko slash alpaca dash benro dash polaris. The repository contains all the documentation and software for the Alpaca Benro Polaris driver. From the repository's homepage, you can click on the install guide, giving you more detailed information on the setup of the driver. If you haven't already, you must install Python from the Microsoft Store or directly from the Python website. To download the driver, click the link in step 2. This will download a zip file to your downloads directory. Click Extract All to extract all of the files from the zip file. You can install the files anywhere, but I'd suggest putting them into your Users Documents folder. Using Windows Explorer, right-click on the Alpaca Benro Polaris main folder that you just extracted. Click on Open Terminal. Now, power up your Benro Polaris tripod head and connect the Polaris app to your device. Change to Astro Mode and complete the compass calibration. Choose a bright star in your sky and select Go To. Center the star and then click Confirm. After the Benro Polaris is up and running and aligned, uh, go back to Windows and click the Wi-Fi icon on the Windows taskbar. And select your Polaris Wi-Fi hotspot to connect to. It may take some time but it should connect and you should see no internet comma open. Back on the terminal window type DIR to confirm the contents of the extracted files. You should see a docs, driver and platforms folder. Type the command PIP install minus r platforms slash win slash requirements dot txt this will install some python dependencies now you can start the driver by typing python space driver slash main dot py and the driver will start You'll see the driver's log output. If it successfully connects to the Polaris, you'll see a communications in it done. You can test the driver by starting Stellarium trying to slew to a new target. Please check out the documentation for instructions on creating a shortcut to make it easier to start the driver. And there's also a detailed troubleshooting guide if you hit any problems. That's all for now. Thanks. Bye.